Hello, I'm Dennis Anderson. Welcome to The Compound. Right here is where it all happens with the Anderson family. We have Digger's Dungeon, have Watermelon Ryan's Little Market. We've got the animal pens for all the little goats and chickens. We have Digger's Diner, and we also have a little ride truck park. That's the front stage. You've never been out back. And I'm gonna take you behind the stage, behind the scenes at the Anderson Compound. You've gotta check this out. Hold on, let me tell you guys something. Y'all gonna be goofing around with the lawnmowers, I'm gonna put some stakes on it. His lawnmower versus Obi's lawnmower in a drag race. And whoever loses, I'm gonna take the backhoe with the four-in-one bucket, I'm gonna grab your junk and I'm gonna squeeze it like jaws and I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna carry it right over there and I'm gonna put it in that steel box. You got four hours. Is there cheating involved? Can, can I run into him and run now? There's no rules. We're gonna start this baby on your mark, get set, go. Four hours. Right now? Four hours, right now. Gosh. I'm gonna tell you right now, these boys don't think I'm serious. They love these lawnmowers. They play with them all the time and they're trying to soup them up, make them go fast and do all this. So they got some midnight oil burnt working on these things. They're just playing and they got four hours to play and they gotta get this thing done. One of them's gonna cry in the end because I'm gonna bash their project that they worked on so hard, and then they're gonna be punished all week long at the pig pen, at the chicken pen, at the goat pen, hauling out trash and picking up dog poop. And this is one of the guys on my build team right here. Trying to check out this automatic feeder right here. This feeder's for my horses. I got over 1,500 horses that I keep in this stall right here. They're hard to keep feed. It's been cold, and I think this hopper's been kind of hanging up on me a little bit. But I'm gonna bump on a little bit, see if I can't get a little rattle out of it, get some food going to these horses. Oh yeah, they're waking up nice up. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's the horses I've been talking about. I got 1,500 of them I keep in this barn. I wanna go show them to you, come on. I want y'all to meet Trigger. This is Trigger right here. This is one of our fastest horses in the stall. And I love this one, she's frosting up. This motor's just about right, it's a little bit, Trigger's a little fat, we're gonna lean him down just a little bit. But all I can say is, Trigger is aching for breaking. You gonna make it, baby. We're taking you to the big time. This is Andy. He's my chassis builder. Been with me for 12 years. He's another part of my build team. He's awesome. Can you cut your hood right here? Heck no, so I love it. So your flames can shoot out the side of it and make you look like you're going faster. It's okay. Just think. I don't have to look like I'm going fast when I'm beating you. <laughs> Teeny thinks that he is just going to walk the dog on him. But I got news for you. I just really checked out OB's rear end. This thing is a gearbox, belt driven, that's got centrifugal drive belts on it. Teeny's out there, on the other hand, it's a fluid drive. It's actually a hydrostatic. Teeny's gonna be sucking hind tit on this one, I think. Since I spent so many hard hours on my lawnmower, I don't want to get it crushed, so Jesse Boone is automatically gonna have to lose. I'm gonna take these pieces of steel right here and I'm gonna weld it in here like Mad Max, so it'll pop uh, Jesse's tires and this thing won't go on the steel box. 
okay, it won't go nowhere. that I cut off so I can make my lawn a little bit faster I'm trying to be teeny and yeah I made me a redneck jig to drill the hole all right this is another guy on my build team right here this is Cliff been with me since he was a kid I call him my handyman You gotta be freaking kidding me. You have like an hour and 15 minutes left. And you look like you're a pretty good ways off. Teeny right now is in the lead. Right now I'm rooting for Obi just to get his done. If Obi gets his going with the gear ratio of those pulleys, that thing should freaking fly. We have an hour and about 10 minutes left. So, boys better tighten up. This is another important dude on my build team right here. RL, my man, the differential man. All right, another place I like to visit here on the Anderson compound, it's pretty mechanical. Wait till you get in here. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff that you would never know that went on right here behind Digger's Dungeon. Come check this out. See this stuff right here? Kind of looks like Christmas decorations. That's not what it is. I'll show you what it is. That's shavings from aluminum billet parts. I got a house full of them. Check this out. We have pinion yokes. We've got transfer case yokes, five ton, deuce and a half, meritors. We have um, billet dry shaft slip yokes. We have sway bar blocks. We've got spindles. Everything that you can imagine for a truck to go in the mud or jump to the moon. We got it in here. We're taking a walk on the wild side over here. Mega truck madness. Here's what's going on over here. Surplus. Go out, we buy the parts, get all this stuff that the government's getting rid of in an auction. They're basically throwing it away. We pick all the good stuff off of it. And guess what we do? We make it better, we make it something we can race with. We go from some cast iron housings to some real steel right here. Sheet metal housings that we can get down and weld brackets to. We lighten it up. These things are to race with. They're still heavy duty because guess what? It's not a monster truck, it's a mega truck. But they're big, they're bad, and they're awesome. And you'll see what we've got here on the property. Bog hog right here. All right, this is another important player to my build team right here. Keith, my man. Big Josh in the house, yeah! <laughs> All right, here's another one of our build team members. Josh, my shot man. So wild child over there. You talking about a grumpy son of a bitch? That's the way he's, he really is not the grumpiest on the property. There's about three of them around here. The dude, that cat right there gets paid to love me. That's why he's been hanging out with us forever. I am zip tying it into gear because it keeps wanting to kick out because it has way too much torque. All right, it sounds like these guys are ready for their competition. Time's up. We got to get them to the starting line. Let's see what they got.
All right, I don't know if Teeny's a poor sport or a bad loser, but I'm gonna tell you, man, he lost. Old Ovi gave it to him right there at the finish line. It was close, though, because Ovi was having problems. His throttle got stuck, went across the track, ran into the tires. But, you know, Ovi's over there grinning and laughing because he's the winner, and he thinks that he's gonna put his back together. I guarantee you that's what he has in his mind, but I've got one more thing. My Oh, God. What the hell? What is it? What the? That is messed up. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Obi, Obi's trying to save his ride right there. Let me tell you what I just did. I just killed that little love connection because we wasted enough time. We got to get busy for 2018. That ends that.